Heidi, your hand is up. Okay. Please put up your hand. You can only put up your hand when you have something. Huh? We are having mathematics right now. Those of you who have checked the timetable, the timetable changed a little. So we are having mathematics right now. Okay. Uh, so check, check, adjust, adjust. Those of you who are just trading in, we are having mathematics right now. Okay. I'm sure most of you had the uh, you had seen the changes. Huh? So um I'm saying that we've been looking at uh, the ratios and proportions, and uh, we had uh, started at looking at what ratios were, and uh, we say that ratios are used to compare values. Okay, so you compare one value to another, and uh, we also looked at uh, the application areas of ratios. Where do we apply ratios? We said in uh, in the different industries industries uh use ratios to be able to mix different ingredients especially for the beverages okay those the, the the drinks and what they mix their ingredients in certain ratios or in certain proportions depending on what you are having uh, when you go to those restaurants, when they are trying to come up with our foods, usually they organize them in ratios. So literally we are saying that ratios are key, a key important thing as far as our studies are concerned. Then uh, we also saw how to, we can represent ratios. We saw that uh, when we are to represent ratios, we, co they, we saw one compar comparing two items, okay? If for example, we have this is blue and then this is white, we can say the ratio of blue blue to white, you count how many blues you have compared to the white one, which is the one. So in so doing, we say our ratio of blue to white is three to one, okay? So, and we also saw different ways that we can write our ratios where we say that in a ratio, you can either separate them with a colon, or you can use the word two, whereby you say, can say three to one. So three to one, it means that items have been divided in those given two forms. Then we also looked at another last part was the, how you can represent your fractions. You can say you can also, sorry, you can also represent ratios in fraction form, okay? If you want to say blue to white, you can say three out of one. Then when you say white to blue, we can say it is one out of what? One out of three. Okay. So uh, literally, uh, that is a, how we that is how we try to represent our ratios in different ways. So um, I'm reviewing what we did last time eh, before we kick start as people keep joining in. Then uh, so we, we gave, I gave you those uh, three different ways you can write your ratios and either write it in this form or this form or this other form. So all these ones here mean the same thing. Two colon three, two to two or two out of three, you are still talking about the same, same, you're still talking about the same thing, okay? Then um, uh, thereafter, we saw how we can write uh, ratios. Like for example, if you're given just items, you count how many items, like here you say three to five, like that. So we also said you can even have more than two. Now, when you have more than two, it means that the fraction part does not work. Meaning you're either going to, you're going to use the colon most of Like for example here, uh, at the bottom here, we say, when you have here apples, we have mangoes, we have pineapples. So they ask for the ratio of apples to mangoes to uh, pineapples. You count how many they are. So whereby the apples, you see there are eight, the mangoes, you say there are four, and also the pineapples there, 
we saw there were six. Okay, another key important thing that we looked at, we say that ratios, we must reduce them as it. we have to reduce our ratios in the smallest form possible, okay? When you have a ratio, for example, six to three, reduce it, get a common factor. This is by three ones, by three, two. So the smallest this can be will be three to one, sorry, two to one, okay? Even if you have three, if you have three to six to nine, okay? You reduce them down. This is by three, by three, by three. Okay, so your total common ratio will be one to two to three. So never leave your ratios when they have a common factor, which you can divide through by. Okay, so ensure that you reduce this as low as possible. People are asking which class is this is mathematics. This is mathematics in year two. Okay. This is mathematics in year two, those of you who are still stuck. Okay, so um, literally that is what we, we do have, okay? This is what we looked at. And we looked at some examples, how we can write ratios and so on and so forth, okay? So that's what we looked at uh, in our, and maybe, maybe another last thing that we saw was this part of a whole, part to a whole ratio, where we say that, we can compare our ratios with the whole with the whole number sorry with the total number take an example if i am having uh, a ratio three to four if i'm sharing something now this one can be the total ratio here is three plus what plus four which is seven so if I'm to compare, the part is the, these are parts, three and four are parts. So meaning I can compare three to seven and also compare four to what? Four to seven. It means that of the total, three takes one, uh, three takes a part and also four takes it apart. Now, today we are going to pick up from this point. We are going to deal basically with parts to whole ratios, okay? Parts to whole ratios. This is what we are going to basically focus on today. And how do we calculate through numbers using that given part to whole ratios, okay? That's what we are going to basically focus on. Right, I think we will, most people here, we can get started unless someone has or rather had a challenge in the previous work that you possibly got. But literally it was quite a simple, simple thing that we needed to work out as far as that was concerned. Okay, now today we are here. Today we are here. We are looking at how we can use ratios to share quantities. This is our, those of you who are writing the heading or the topic, we are looking at using a ratio or using ratios to share quantities. This is our subtopic today. Yeah? Uh, this is our subtopic today. All right. uh, those of you who are writing, please, this is where we are. This is what we are looking at for today using a ratio to share quantities using a ratio to share quantities please i'm um, still emphasizing that those of you who are coming in late and in case we skip a certain topic a certain step and you are not there please i said we are going to have we have our youtube channel where we can share those uh, that information <laughs> and you can be able to access it. So you don't have to worry much, eh? okay? So don't worry much. We, we shall get there through those given notes. You can go through and review what we have said, and then you can put it in practice as well, okay? Now, when we are sharing quantities, 
when we are sharing quantities, we are using the technique of part to a whole number. Part to a whole ratio, sorry. Okay. Part to a whole ratio is what that is the technique that we are using. Okay. Okay, the name of the YouTube channel, we are going to send it to you as well. Uh, I think you should be able to see it. You're going to see it as well. Eh? Sally Henry, who is asking the name of the channel. I'm going to put the link to you in the chat and then you're able to, to see it as well. Eh? So don't worry about that. Okay, now I'm saying that when you are sharing items or given quantities, we use part to a whole ratio. Okay. We are going to be given several ratios, but what we should have in mind is that to share, we use the whole and we compare it to the parts. Take an example. If I am saying that I am giving, if I have my three students, okay, if I have my three students and I have my uh, maybe I have 10 biscuits, okay? I have 10 biscuits and I'm supposed to give the three students here. And I say, I'm giving them in the ratio, maybe I, let me use two students. If I have two students, okay? And I am giving them 10 biscuits. And I say, I am giving them in a ratio of two to three, okay? two to three, two students. Meaning one student is going to take two of the biscuits and another one is going to take three of the biscuits. So what does this, what does, how do we make sure that, how do we share these biscuits here to make sure that everyone has got in this ratio? First, what you do, you need to get the total, okay? You need to get the total, ratios that's the very first thing to do so here the total ratio i have is two plus possibly three and i'll be having my what my five then from there i start sharing first student is getting two so i say it is two out of the what the total so this is a part this is a what a whole Okay, and I multiply by the total number of biscuits that I am having, which is what? Which is 10. Okay, this is for the first student. First student will get this. Okay, then I calculate that. Then the second student, the second student will get the second ratio, which will be three out of the whole, which is five. So we say this is a part and this is a what? The whole. And I multiply it still with what? With the 10. Okay, I hope we get this clear. I still multiply it by the 10. So the result I am going to get here, when I reduce this once, this will be two. So this will be equivalent two times two, which will be four. Then this one also, when I reduce once, I reduce this, it will still be two, which will be the total will be six. Now, take note that the total biscuits, these are biscuits here. The total number of biscuits that each that you have shared should be equal to the total whole here. For example, the total for the first student plus the second student, I should be able to get 10, okay? Which is the four plus the what? Four plus the six. What am I trying to emphasize here? It is one, you must and you must get the total of the ratio. See this total here? It is very key. Take note of that, get the total. Then secondly, after multiplying, the results that you get after sharing, 
must be equivalent, okay? Must be equivalent to the total number of items that you are sharing. Those are the two things you must have in mind when we are carrying out our divisions. Let's give an example. Let's work out an example. Possibly we'll do, uh, get it clear. Here we are. We've been told to share, okay? Share 60 passion fruits between two people in the ratio two to three. Huh? Two, like mom has said, here are the 60 passion fruits. Make sure you share these, these passion fruits in a ratio two to three. Now you need to first calculate what each person is going to get. We are now sharing. I told you uh, ratios are about comparing values. That's what ratios are about. So let's get to our solution here. Let's get to our solution. Now, step one, okay? Step one, step one, we get the total what? Total ratio, okay? We get the total ratio, which will be equivalent to, here we have two plus the what? Plus the three, which is equivalent to five. This is our first thing, or rather our first step to do. If you don't do this, you may get uh, quite, it may be quite difficult for you to share these items. That's number one. Now, number two, you start now to share. Okay? We now start to share them, okay? So we are sharing the first person. They have not specified the first person, but they have just said two to three, meaning automatically the first person, the first person will be equal to this two. This is for the first, and this is for the second, okay? The name that comes first, takes on the first ratio. The name that comes the second takes on the second ratio. So the first person will be two out of the total ratio here, which is five, okay, of the 60, okay? Then the second person, okay? The second person will have three out of the five of the 60, okay? And in mathematics, we know that when we talk of, of, we are talking of multiplication. So which is two out of five times 60, then this one will be three out of five times 60, okay? Then from here, we try to reduce or we do the multiplication from this point here. So when we have uh, 60, we divide through by five, here we shall have 12. So two times 12, we shall have 24. Passion fruits, this, these are passion fruits. Then we also do the same thing here once, then this one will also be 12. Then we have 12 times a three, we shall come up with 36 passion fruits. Now, finally, as I said earlier on, that what you get for the first person and you add it for the second person, you must be able to get what? 60. And you see that when you get 24 plus the 36, you must come to what? To the total number of fruits, which is 60 passionate fruits. Okay, 60 passionate fruits. This is how we are working out, okay? Key thing is getting, the key thing is first making sure you've got it, your ratio.
Once you get your ratio, the rest of the division is easy. It's now the first person out of, remember this is the total ratio. Take note of that this is our total, this is our total ratio. This one here, these are our total ratios. These are the total ratios, okay? So have this in mind. Once you have this, it gets easy. Uh-huh, anyone with a question? Anyone with a question on this or something that you may be missing out before we work out our second example? Before we work out our second example? Yes, Shamim. Shamim? Shamim? Excuse me, sir. Should we add on also that proof? No, of no, no. Adding you may... Plus no. That 36 passion fruits. No, you may you may not add on. Don't add on this step. This is that now one. for you. Yeah, you, this is for you. Eh? To prove that the answer, to be very sure that the answers that you've got are correct, but you don't have to add on this last proof here. Okay, Tendo. Okay, Tendo, 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 Tendo. Pardon? That's the answer. The answer is 24 passion fruits and 36 passion fruits are our answers. Auntie, we just live there. Yes, we just live there. We have shared. Okay, mm -hmm. okay thank you. And we have a new table. Okay, this is who, Irene? Yes, Irene. To Saba? No, teacher, even I wanted to say, maybe is that the last step you answered it and I had this. Okay, 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 okay. Good. Um, I think I answered, yes, Esther? Teacher, it's always the ratio given in the question. Yes, it must be given in the question. Or, oh, but at some point we shall see how we can also work out to get the ratios. But for now, we want we have the ratios in our question. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, I think I've answered most of you. So let's look at another thing. Let's look at another part. So. Now let's talk about money. Okay. Let's talk about money now. Uh, we've been told to share 43,200 shillings between three sisters. We have Grace, Gwen, or some of you call Queen, then Gloria. In the ratio, one to two to three. Okay, in the ratio, one, to two, to three, okay? Now, I told you with the ratios, we are not only working with the two, we always work with the, the least number is two, you can't work with one, eh? you can't work with the ratio of one, it's usually at least two. Now, in such a case, we are developing our solution, okay? We are developing our solution. So, step one, we get our total ratio, okay? Step one is our total ratio, which is one plus two plus three. And here our total ratio will be equal to six, okay? Now, we need to still do the divisions. Remember our ratio is one, two, 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 three. What does this mean? The first person is Grace. This is for Grace. Then the second one is Gwen. You please, you follow that order. Don't interchange. And then the last one is what? Is Gloria. These are our ratios that we are having. Please have that in mind. So we need to find out how much did Grace get? How much did Gloria get? How much did Gwen get? So we start with the grace. 
So grace will be one out of, grace's ratio is one, eh? out of the total ratio, which is what? Which is six. Of which is time was it? The amount that they are sharing is 43,200. Then you get the answer here. So I, people should be calculating out. Please make sure you have your calculator close to you. Then I also come to Gwen. Gwen will be two out of the total ratio, which is six times uh -huh, 43,200 shillings. Okay? Please, these are shillings. Eh? These are shillings. Then you get your answer there. Then the final one is Gloria. Gloria is taking three out of six times 43,200. And then we get our answer right there. Okay. So this is the sharing that we are saying. Okay. This is how we are sharing out. So um, how much from your calculation there? How much did the grace get? Please type your answer. Type your answer, Grace. We are on Grace. It's gonna say 7,200. How about the rest of us? How much did Grace get? So, please just type, just type the answer. Don't, 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 don't. 7,200. Okay. 7,200. That's the third one. 7,000. The first one, 200. 7,200. Okay, I think that's what we are all getting. Yes. 7,200. Uh-huh. Then Gwen, number two. What did 14,400. 14,400. 14, Four hundred shillings. Uh -huh. I think that's what most people know. It has that resty, has the same thing. Okay. Then the last one. Twenty-one thousand six hundred. Twenty-one thousand six hundred. Six hundred. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one thousand six hundred shillings. Okay. So. I think we have seen this, okay? I think we've seen this. But at the end of it all, you can now dis know who has got a lot, who has got little, who has the, who, who, who has the least amount. Who has, so a question can come. This money has been shared, find out who got the highest amount. For you to find out, you first have to calculate through this, okay? You first have to calculate through this. And then when you get this, you can compare and know that Gloria got the highest amount of this, okay? And you'll even know, meaning that Gloria, Gloria uh, got three times Grace's amount, okay? While you see Gwen got two times Grace's amount. Okay, then uh, Gloria got two times Gwen's amount like that. So you realize that it gets easier for you to uh, calculate through this. But it is it, it, those of you who, who can prove now, if you prove your answer to know that it is you're now on the point that you're correct. When you add up seven two hundred, then fourteen four hundred, twenty one six hundred, your total must be this. Okay. Now this, why are we doing this? This one is for you to leave or to leave your answer knowing, yes, I am 100% correct. I have not made any mistake as far as my calculations are concerned. So you will leave knowing that it is a very correct answer, especially when you have proved out uh, that, okay? All right, okay. I think this is quite clearer uh, as far as the, the, that sharing is. So even if you have three ratios, 
follow the same procedures. Even if you have three ratios, follow the same procedures. At times you may be even be given four, even five ratios. But at our level, most cases we end at three. Usually at our O level, we end at three ratios. But in case you have a question in that form, you can try to work it out like that. Okay, let's proceed. Uh -huh. Two numbers are in the ratio two to three, and the sum of the numbers is two, is 225. Find the numbers. Still, please, whatever you see a ratio, whatever you see a ratio, dear members, let this come to your mind. What you have looked at today come into your mind. Okay, so here we are. Our solution. We are here. We are saying two numbers, which we do not know, okay? We don't know those numbers there. But the numbers are shared in the ratio of two to what? Two to three. And the sum of the numbers is this. So meaning this is our item that we are sharing. We are going to share this one here in this ratio. Then when you start sharing, you'll be able to get the two numbers. This is it for the first number. This is for the second number. So therefore, step one, total ratio. Total ratio is two plus it, three, which is what? Which is five. So first number, for the first number, it will be two out of the five times it, the total number, which is two to what? Two to five, then you get that number. Then second number, Second number will be three out of five times two to what? Two to five, okay? And then, okay? And then we get that. So um, from here, we start reducing down. So this one goes into this ones. This one I think goes there 45 times. Then 45 times two is 90. Still here once, this is 45. Uh, 45 times three is I think 135. 135, okay? Uh, I think that's what we've also got. Please, you prove out, eh? I, may, I may work out something very fast and you miss out something, a step. So you can try to uh, check us, you can try to check with your calculators, wherever you are. So meaning, what, is our, what are we told to find? Find the numbers. So the first number is 90, and the second number is 135. So we say the numbers are, 90 and 135. Those are the two numbers that we need. Okay. So uh, this is the correct method, the quickest method that you can easily. I know with the ratios, we shall see, uh, we shall see somewhere when we were find values that we do not know. At some point, you shall use some other method when you are supposed to find ratios instead. Eh? When you're supposed to find ratios instead of finding the numbers, we shall also look at uh, how that works out as well. Okay. Any query here? Any query? Please let's get these concepts so that uh, when we, yes, now what So why do we multiply? Why do we multiply? Now is asking, why are we multiplying? Why don't we add? <laughs> now, when we have ratios, okay? So this is especially to Nabatanzi. 
when you have ratios, these ratios are of a certain number, okay? Of, and in mathematics, you know that whatever you see of is multiplication, okay? So meaning they are a percentage, they are a, a part of, of a certain number, okay? When I say two, two, three, it means two is part of, is part of that given number. And also three is part of. So wherever you see of it, that's why the multiplication is coming in, okay? It's, bit, it's because it is part of a certain number. So that's why, and in mathematics, wherever we say of, it means we are multiplying. That is why we are doing so, okay? All right, I, I think that is uh, done. Now, I want you to work out for me this now. Okay. I want you to work out this in your books. And the one I'm giving you, how many? I'm, I'm giving you 30 seconds. Okay, one minute. For you to work out in this in your books, and you're going to give me the answer. Don't try, don't type the answer yet. Just work out in your book there. And I'm going to let you know. In one minute from now, can you work out for me that? And you give me the answer. I said you work out. Angelica, please work out. And then you give us the, uh, you, you, sorry, just walk out. Please walk out, just walk out, just walk out. I know in less than one minute you should be done. Five seconds. In a minute, you should be done. Okay. I want someone, you're going to show us uh, on a video on what you've done. Please, you're going to show us on a video on what you have done. Just show, open, get the paper, and then you're going to show us directly on a video, your work, I want to see your working on a paper. Kaide, are you ready? Let me ask. Kaide, are you ready to show us? Kylie is not ready. Are you ready to show us? No. Uh, not change Rahma. Rahma? I'm ready, yes. You're, re you're ready to show us, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, please. Okay, sir. Sh show us your, your results in the paper. We are not seeing your paper. Yes, sir. I'm going to show you. Uh, just raise up the paper. Uh -huh. I see. Uh, I see now. Okay, I think we have seen. Mm. Good. We've seen, we've seen, okay, we've sir. seen, we've seen, we've seen. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Okay, now I want someone to work out. Let me ask someone to work out. Whom should I, whom should, who should work out for us? Uh, Michael. Michael? Yes, teacher. Uh, please, can you work out? This is a light on. Mike and light on. So your light on, eh? Michael. You're Michael, okay. Can you tell us what you did? 
I first got the total ratio, 11 mm -hmm. plus three. Mm -hmm. I got 14. Total ratio is 11 plus three, which is what? 14. Mm. I got the first part is equal to? First part. 11 out of 14 times Times 1,148. Mm -hmm. we, we divide, and I got 902. Mm -hmm. The second part, mm -hmm. three out of 14, times 1,148. I got 246. 246. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. I think and I believe all of you have done this. Huh? Should, all of us should have done this. So there are four. So the first part is this. And the second part is this one here. Okay, so these are our two numbers that we have. Okay, I, I think we are moving uh, rightly. Yes, 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 I think this is all, unless someone got a different answer, but this is what we have. I'm trying to exhaust this so that, uh, what if you say first ratio, is it correct? No, you say first part, not first ratio. Okay, this is the ratio, okay? And the part is now this one here. And we are saying, we are dividing this one into two parts, not two ratios. Eh? This is one ratio, this is a single one ratio. But if you have uh, two ratios, it means you have another one, eh? maybe one to, one, to, one to three. These are now two ratios. Man was asking, what if you say uh, ratios? No, you say parts. Okay, so this is the first part, and this is our second part. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Any other question? There was a question which someone asked. I think uh, answered number times why we multiply. Uh, Nolan was asking, is there any other method for working out ratios? For this one, this is the quickest method out. Other methods, maybe if we deal with percentages, but for now we are dealing with direct ratios. Uh, in, our, in our next part, we are going to see proportions, but we are still working with the ratios. Then after that, we shall work with the proportions and we see how they work as well. Okay, for now we are dealing with the ratios. Uh-huh. Then there is some, where is Kylie? Kylie asked, asked a certain question. Where is Kylie? Uh, Kaili, Kaili, there is a question you asked in a, can you read it for us? Yes. Yes, yes Kaili. Kaili, 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 Kaili. So I have unmute myself. Yes, yes, uh-huh. There is a question you are asking. Shillings, 640,000 was shared among ABC Six, in the ratio. Hey, okay, slowly, 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 uh-huh. 640,000. 640,000, uh-huh. Was shared among ABC. We shared ABC, these are the people, mm -hmm. In the ratio. In the ratio, 4.4 to 12.4 what? Comma to 12.4 to 15.2 to 15.2. Two. Okay. How so much you, did what, each receive? How much did each receive? Thank you. Uh -huh. So we are here. We've been given a question here. 
Riley says, we've been given an amount for 640,000 is shared amongst A, B, and C in the ratio this. This is our ratio. Rule number step one, we get the total, the total ratio. Yeah. So our total ratio will be 4.4 plus 12.4 plus 15.2. What answer do we get there when you total up? Type your answer. Uh huh. What's the total? Uh, what's the total there? 32? Shami says 43. Okay, it's 32. Eh? So here we have 30, 32 as our total ratio. So then we start sharing. So meaning this is for A, this is for B, and this is for C. So A will get 4.4 out of 32 times 6. 140,000. Then you also come to B. B will get 12.4 out of 32 times 640,000. Then you get to C. C will also get 15.2 uh, out of 32 times 640,000. And you'll be able to get your answer. So I, I think I did. that is the easier now becomes easy now. So rule number one, get the total ratio. Once you get the total ratio, get the total ratio, then you start. So what has A got? Those of you who are calculating with us, what has A got? Uh-huh, what has A got? Right, right, type your answer, type your answer. Type your answer. Eight 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 thousand. Uh huh. Then B. What does B got? Hey, are we working out? Uh, I think eight eight thousand is for A. Uh huh. Then B. B has 248,000, that is from Barbara. Mm -hmm. Then what has C got? Okay, Ahereza, what has C got? Type your answer, type your answer. C, Sharifa says has got 304, Thousand three hundred and four thousand. Dear members, I think this makes it more simpler for us to work out, or rather, to work with the our ratios. Okay. Okay. So I think that answers Kairi's question as far as the, that is concerned. Okay. Now, finally. You're working out for me this one here also. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe let me let, let's try to let's try to work together at the same time. But I would have loved you to work out. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, now um this is going to usher us into our next topic. As far as ratios are concerned. So we are saying a number is divided into two parts. Okay. We are saying a number is divided into two parts. A number is divided into two parts. Uh, Sharifa had something. Okay. Anyway, let's let's find this. A number is divided into two, two parts. Huh? And the parts of the ratio are four to nine. Now, if the larger part is 
is 108. We are to find the number, meaning the larger part is this one here. 108, and this one we do not know. Mm -hmm. We are now analyzing our question. One, this is the ratio in which the number is. There is a number which has been divided into two, okay? Meaning we are going to, we are supposed to find what? We are supposed to find that given number which has been divided, but they have given us one of the numbers as what? One of the numbers as 108. So our role, we are supposed to one, to find this second number, and after finding the second number, we add it to this one and we find our total number. Now, here what we do, this is connecting us now to what you call the proportions. Now, proportions have to do with equating. What do we say? No, that when I say this one, four out of, this is the same, remember our part to part ratios, four out of nine, we equate it to, this x here is corresponding to four. So meaning it's the same as x out of one zero eight. This is about now the proportions. I know we shall talk more about proportions in our next class. But when we are working out this number here, we do what we call the comparison. We compare, remember our connection with the, with the ratios, we compare, okay? So meaning nine, we say this one nine is the biggest taking on this. And then meaning the smallest, which we do not know, we call it X. Okay, this one, even if someone says nine out of four, meaning this is equivalent to one zero eight out of what? Out of X, okay? These are the same things. Eh? This one is the same as this, okay? So when you cross multiply here, you will get nine X is equal to four times one zero eight. Then you divide by nine, divide by nine. So here our X will be equal to what? Those of you who are multiplying with us. What is our X? 48, some people already got it good. Our X is 48. What does this mean? It means that our ratios are now here, which means that our ratios are four to nine, this one is 48 and this one is 108. But our role is not finding this. Our role is to find the number which is being divided. So this will be equivalent. We add these two numbers, 48 plus 108. And this will be now the number that we need. This is 100 and what's it, the number there? 100 and? What's the number 48 plus 108? 48 plus 108, 150, 156. So therefore 156 is the number which has been shared in that given ratio. Now, to be sure of this, when you get, look at this, your total ratio, we are finished, this is the answer, okay? This is our answer, this is our final answer. But we are doing a certain check to see if we, what we've got is, is a correct one. Our total ratio here is a 13. So when you get four out of 13 times 156, Four out of okay. What do you get here? We should be able to get forty-eight. Okay. You try to work out this one. Then also, when you get nine out of the thirteen, thirteen is our total ratio times one fifty-six. Your result should be able to get one zero. 
eight. Now, why am I trying to bring out these proofs here? Okay, it's because you, you, you need to leave the question when you're very sure that you've answered the right what? The right thing. You don't have to just leave the question and say, eh, after I've got that. But when you prove on the sides to see that what you've got this side is the same as uh, what you've got. I know this one, you can use several methods, okay? You can use several methods to come up with, with that as well. All right, dear members, I think I'll give you an exercise which you'll be able to do. I'm going to post it in our Google Classroom and we are, I think there are only three numbers. Eh? I'm going to share with you in a Google Classroom and then you'll be able to work out. Eh? This is our assignment, but I'm going to share it with you in the Google Classroom and then you'll be able to work out. Uh, do I have any query, any query, any query, any query? Before we end our class, before we end our class, Shami. Miss, on um, the one for adding those points, 4.4 plus 12 points, 4 hey, plus. Uh, yours, was it? Miss, it was this one. Eh? 4.4, yes, 4.4 plus 12.4 plus 15.2, we get 32. Huh? Have you got it? Is that not 32? 32. No. Not 33. 4.4 4. 4. Hmm? plus 12.4 yes. plus 15.2. Mr. that's 16. No, it is 15, not 16. This is 15. Oh, you can't okay. even see it. It is 15. Okay. I think I got it. Okay. Any other? Uh, okay. Barack, somewhere? I want to leave you behind. Yes, teacher. When you added the 4.4, 4.4, we get 32, but for the first answer, we get 884,088. Uh, yeah, this is 84. This was from people. Yeah, this is 84. Okay. Not it. That's it. Okay. Um, I think okay. we're done with that. Aria Sima. Okay. All right. So, dear members, I want to thank you for being part of the class today. I think it's been good that we learned something small, and I think it can keep us going as well. Thank you so much. I uh, wish you a good evening. Let's meet on Friday. I think Friday. Our lesson will be on. We are going, the, the beauty is this week we are going, we've had two lessons. Eh? Yeah, we've had the two lessons. So I think it will be good for us. Thank you so much. And I wish you a good day. Uh, and let's catch up on Friday. Let's catch up on Friday, okay? Mr. Otto, are you still there? Let's say something. Okay, I think Mr. Otto is not there. Okay, um, Aria Sima. Aria Sima, I don't want... Yes. Excuse me, teacher. Yes, Mary Precious. Yes. Mary Precious. May I on how to go into the
Yes, Mr. Charles. Oh, thank you so much, John. Hey, oh, listeners, <laughs> My network has been disturbing so much, sorry, sorry, but it's sorry, okay. Sorry. Mm, um, listen, thank you so much for the lesson. I appreciate. Uh, the senior too, someone is asking how to uh, join the Google Classroom. Yes, you need to go to the website of Christian School Owners Association. You type that one on Google, uh, Christian School Owners Association, then it will give you, you'll find a website is there. Uh, you will see join e-class. From there, you can find everything related to this program, the timetable, the Zoom link, the Google Classroom, the WhatsApp group, everything you'll find there. So I encourage you to check on that website. Yes, I don't know, John, if you still have time, you can present, you show uh, where you can get the information. Yes, all, uh, yes, and tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to have a general assembly at the same time. Yes, we shall have it at midday. So uh, you are informed, is it midday or one? I think midday or one, one of the two, we are going to have a general assembly. So you go and tell your parents like that. The same general assembly, the way we have been having before, it will be in that particular pattern. So I would like to inform you about that. Thank you, Jones. God bless all of you. All right, thank you so much. Uh, good day.